Today, we're going to be checking out the Gord Olsen Signature Boost Pedal for Master Effects. So Master Effects sent this over for me to check out. Uh, I was absolutely down to do it because it's Gord Olson. If anyone doesn't know who Gord Olson is, he is a really killer guitar player, vocalist, and drummer uh, that I don't think gets enough recognition. And not to mention, he's just a super nice guy every time I've gotten to talk to him. But the dude is just a, a brutal death metal musician. And uh, my favorite project that he's ever done, and I absolutely urge everybody to check it out because it's highly underrated, is a death metal project he did back in 2011 with Keith Marrow called Demisery, where he does vocals, drums, and guitars on that album. And that album absolutely slays and is to this day one of my favorite death metal albums. So his boost is a dual boost. It's called the Warmonger. This boost is pretty rad. It's essentially a TC style integrated preamp uh, on one side, and then the other side is going to be more of a TS-808 style. Uh, both of these have been kind of tweaked and updated, uh, you know, for Master Effects and to Gord Olson's, you know, specifications to a point where he likes it. And on the Tube Screamer side, the 808 side, it's also got a clipping switch. And I do like that clipping switch in the up position. It's just way more aggressive. There's more volume, but we'll, we'll get into that and you'll see it in the in and out of mix. Not much else to say really about it other than, you know, it's got those two boosts built in. You can switch between them. So let's check this out inside and outside of a mix. I'm gonna be playing with, uh, you know, fitting my Keith Marrow KM Mark III. It's got his uh, signature Fishman's in there back when he was with Fishman. Uh, that's going to be going into the boost, which is going to be going into the front end of my Friedman BE50 Deluxe. And that's going to be going into my Two Notes Captor X with an IR of uh, DV77 blended with a VM1265. And we'll hear it outside of a mix on that same setup, as well as we'll hear it going into the clean channel of the Friedman, just so you can hear how each does is like kind of a, a preamp clean boost, as well as a, a traditional overdrive, since that is a TS808, TS9 kind of circuit. Let's check it out.
can't complain, does the thing, even with a seven string, it gets it nice and tight and saturated. It uh, doesn't go too thin. Um, it, it definitely, definitely turned my B50 from a uh, dad rock machine into a death metal machine. That's that's definitely for sure. I was pleasantly surprised at uh, how great it sounded on the, the Freedman. As you're able to hear in the out of mix examples too, like I was talking about with that clipping switch, uh, it definitely is better for metal, in my opinion, in that up position, just because it's there's so much more volume output. It's a bit more compressed, um, and it's just it just makes the thing a lot more brutal uh, when it's it's lower too, especially on the clean channel. You heard there's just this massive volume drop. It's not nearly as uh, distorted or compressed or just aggressive. So up is definitely the way for me. The down position kind of feels more like a, like an old school or more vintage style. Uh, maybe more dad rock style overdrive if you're trying to just get some edge of breakup or a little bit of uh, blues rock tones into a clean channel or something like that. But it's good that it has that versatility. Uh, the TC, of course, uh, it, it does the thing. That's going to definitely be if you want kind of that more modern, stringy, uh, really bright, cutting, more genty sound, uh, especially if you're going to be tuning really low uh, because you can really, really get it tight with that loan, but as you heard with the bass control, as you start to turn that up, it gets really, 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 really fat. Uh, so it's, again, cool that it's that flexible and doesn't just have the one sound built into it. There's also an internal charge pump on this that takes it from nine volts to 33 volts. That gets you a lot more headroom. That way you're not, you know, compressing out and squishing out so much. It kind of feels more open and just kind of more organic to play. I like the uh, more overdrives and boosts have been having those charge pumps so everything doesn't feel like it squishes out so much. That's definitely something I, I like to see from modern builders like like Master Effects. It's definitely a good touch. Like I said, I think this is really cool. I think it's really well deserved too because Gord is such a monster player and, and such a cool dude. And I didn't think, you know, years ago listening to Demisery, I would ever be talking to Gord Olson online or getting to demo his signature boost. It's again, really cool to see and I think well deserved. I'm gonna have a link down below for this or anything else for Master Effects if you wanna check it out. But thanks for watching guys, stay metal.